Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here and watching today's video. How are you all doing? I hope you're well wherever you are in the world. Sorry for the weird mismatch posting days that have been going on over on my channel lately. I am still in the midst of moving house if you watch my recent weekly vlog. So that is currently happening behind this camera and behind the scenes and I'm trying to vlog bits here and there but at the moment I'm just trying to do the odd filming day when and where I can in my room because I've kind of taken over the room with boxes now but this is probably going to be one of my last hauls in this house. I am literally moving in five days which is so exciting and I actually did this H&M and Zara order probably two and a half weeks ago. A lot of it I've checked and it still is in stock and things like that but obviously I'll always link similars to everything that's either last season or I can't find and I'll find some similars to those pieces as well but in today's video I thought it might be nice to do an autumn winter styling video there are some few well there's two dresses in here that are a little bit dressy but they can be dressed down and dressed up and I just thought they were really really gorgeous long sleeve dresses for like date nights but then the rest of the outfits are very like autumn winter get cozy and that, that kind of thing so without further ado let's kick start the video so for outfit number one if you know me you know I love a shacket I'm literally <laughs> just obsessed with shackets right now. I love shacket season. Every time it comes around, I just get so excited about wearing like spot tights and black dresses and shackets and layering and getting all cozy. And I spotted this one, which I just thought was really, really gorgeous. I love like the navy colors and the orange tones together. I feel like they really complemented each other and were just really nice neutral tones as well that would work lots of different ways with either blue jeans, charcoal jeans and things like that. And it's a really, really soft shacket. And I actually find it quite hard to find a lightweight shacket that doesn't have too much of an itch to it. There's sometimes ones from Zara, sometimes from H&M as well that have that little bit more of a scratchy wool feel to them. Whereas this one's like really, really soft and snug and I like how lightweight it is. So it's like perfect for layering as well, putting on your beanie, wrapping around a scarf and that kind of thing too. And I've just started here with this little knit ribbed roll neck crop top. I thought the color of this matched really nicely with the details in the shacket as well. I think it was actually on the website that I saw the model was wearing the two together and I was like, they are the perfect tones. <laughs> I need to style those together as well and I wore this outfit pumpkin picking the other day and just styled it with a beanie and some fake leather leggings so you can kind of see how I'm wearing it different ways with the jeans and with the leggings here but just a really nice shacket combo and I love styling shackets in my wardrobe to kind of like embed and kind of include a bit more colour. I always pick up on like the stitching or the check of a shacket and just kind of style it with like a jumper the same colour, a tee the same colour or like shoes or something like that just to brighten up my autumn winter wardrobe. Next up for Zara sharing the two dresses I was telling you all about, starting with this beautiful blue satin wrap dress. I thought this was stunning. I haven't seen like a blue satin colour like this in a while and I'm really drawn to this blue and like the emerald green satins that are kind of floating around at the moment on the high street and I just thought this one was so stunning. I wasn't sure if it'd be flattering on or not but I actually really really love it. You've got an inside like tie waist detail on the inside so you can kind of structure and choose like if you had a lace bralette if you want to show more of that or if you just want to leave it as like a v-neck quite closed off like I've done here but I just thought the colour mainly <laughs> kind of like drew me in and I really love the shape of the sleeves and I just think it's a really flattering floaty dress that's like perfect for the autumn winter date nights coming up and things like that and I probably style with like chunky boots like I've done here for more of like a dress down way of styling and then heeled boots for date nights and layering with like fake leather jackets and blazers and that kind of Thing as well. This could potentially be what I wear this weekend because I've got a birthday party coming up but I'm not entirely sure how I feel or what I fancy so if I do wear this over the weekend I will leave pictures all over on my Instagram of the dress but I will be wearing it very soon for more date nights and dressing up and that kind of thing and I'm so excited to do that. Next up this amazing abstract print dress. I loved the shape and fit of this. There's something about it that is so flattering. I think it's like the ruched detail that it's got down the middle here and you've got just a really gentle kind of puff shoulder detail so there's no shoulder padding there but it just kind of 
cinches you in in really nice ways and I just thought it was so lovely it's got a really nice stretch to it so it's like super super comfortable but I just thought the print was really really fun and a way of adding more like color and brightness into my autumn winter wardrobe for like date nights because I always gravitate towards like all black outfits maybe with like a pop of red lip but it's quite nice sometimes to go a little bit more out there and like I done with the blue and then this I just thought they were nice ways of just having a bit more something something for like special occasions and things like that too and again then I could dress up with like high knee point toe boots or little wraparound heels and then probably style with a blazer, fake leather jacket or like a black slouch coat over my shoulders too but I feel like this is one of those dresses, same with the blue one, that you could easily take from the winter autumn months straight into spring and summer as well so I feel like they're those pieces that will work all year round and be really gorgeous like special occasion dresses. Next up for Zara, this amazing dog's tooth little cold set. If you follow me over on Instagram you would have seen me post this already. I am obsessed with dog's tooth at the moment I do apologize if you are following me over my Instagram slash kind of on here as well because there's a lot of dog's tooth coming up like all my wardrobe at the moment seems to be dog's tooth based pieces like little hats scarves coats and I've got some coats that I've had for years last year that I just love the print of I always feel like when they're those neutral tones blacks or creams they just work really well with everything and I just thought this little cold was so cute and I love how thick it is it's super super warm so really easy to style with high knee boots on like colder days and then layer with a slouch coat and I like the two separately as well I didn't know if I would like the blazer separately but I really like the crop blazer with a pair of charcoal great jeans and like chunky trainers just for like a more dressed down dressed up look I love doing kind of tailoring on top and comfort and like slouchy on bottom or like vice versa I feel like it really balances out an outfit and takes more of those tailored pieces into like everyday looks as well and just love the print of this loving the browns and blacks of the dog tooth I feel like it works so well with so many different pieces the skirt also looks really lovely with like black shirts and like high knee boots or little wrap around court heels and a blazer and there's just like endless ways you can kind of embed this with lots of neutrals in your wardrobe and style them together or separately too but mainly just like the thickness and the quality of this it feels really premium and I loved the structure of the blazer and the skirt for once if you follow me in previous videos you will know that like Zara skirts and shorts never fit me true to size like completely fit me perfectly felt really really comfy on and doesn't have any stretch but is true to size I'd say in terms of being like six to eight extra small kind of thing and usually it's very hit and miss with Zara which I know <laughs> so I will leave references to sizes all down below too but just thought this was really cute for the autumn winter months. Next up I guess kind of dog's tooth talking of dog's tooth again like I feel like this is a dog's tooth print I just love this <laughs> this is one of those pieces in my wardrobe over the last couple of weeks that I've just been loving wearing even on like comfy Sundays when I've been in a tracksuit or dressing down with jeans and then dressing up as well with like jumper dresses and cream boots I just love the fit and shape of this bomber it is so premium it's just feels amazing on it's really easy to layer I actually sized up one size in this so I went from my normal size small to a medium just so that I could layer with more knits and beanies and scarves and things like that but I just thought the shape and fit of it was really gorgeous and something again that I'm going to keep in my wardrobe for like all the autumn winter months and then into spring and summer as well as it's like kind of lightweight but really easy to kind of chuck on and style lots of different ways and it looks really cute over little dresses as well I've got more like neutral kind of browns and oranges and I feel like at the moment cream tones like this work really well with those like autumnal colors so I've been styling a lot of my like bright pops of color even like this cardigan with more cream coats and things like that as well but I just loved the shape and fit of this and I hope this video kind of gives it justice to how gorgeous it is in real life because the detail of it is just stunning. Next up a full neutral outfit but mainly focusing on these fake leather neutral cream leggings from Zara. I have been on the hunt for cream leggings like fake leather ones for the longest time honestly I feel like it's been like four years now because I've had my black pair for that long and I can never find a good thick soft pair of fake leather leggings that don't wrinkle too much I'm gonna give like pre-warnings on these that I'm five foot three and they are slightly too long for me and I did um and ah and try on loads of different ones from different shops and these were the best ones that I found like high street ones that I felt felt premium I felt held in they're really thick they're warm and I always wear on like wintry cold days fake leather leggings because they just keep me so snug layering in them with like roll necks and jackets and long coats and the rain just like glides off them <laughs> so I really wanted a pair that I knew 
was going to keep me warm in the winter months as well and just be really easy to kind of style with more neutral pieces in my wardrobe and brown toned pieces because the black ones go with so much but I have so many cream coats and jackets that I love styling like lots of cream all like neutral outfits with like I've done here so I will say that they are slightly long <laughs> for being five foot three for me personally but I feel like for someone that was like five foot six five foot seven might work for you best but obviously one of those things that I feel like with fake leather leggings you kind of have to try on because the sizing of these I tried on the extra small and small and I was a bit like am I in between sizes do I size up but I stayed true to size but I will just say definitely go and try them on if you can or order and try on and that kind of thing but I just thought they were a really nice quality and a really thick premium fill to them as well so they're just like super snug and yeah just loving how they look with like more neutral pieces I'll leave a little picture on the screen here of how I wore them out the other day I wore this for like a little date night but yeah just loved the color of them and love the fit and shape next up again adding some more print into my autumn winter wardrobe and styling this really gorgeous floral skirt with this fake leather blazer little bralette and chunky boots this is definitely more of like a going out outfit like if I was going to a rooftop bar on a Saturday or if I'm going out with the girls to a pub and I want to kind of layer up I probably now it's getting slightly colder put on a roll neck with it or a little black tee or something like that just to kind of layer up a little bit more and wear maybe higher knee chunky boots but I just thought this is a really lovely skirt again to add some more print and color into my wardrobe I love the kind of ruched front detailing to this and one of those pieces that I'll definitely style for like going out clubbing of little wrap around like red heels and a black little crop top and blazer or moving into spring and summer as well just styling with like black shirts or little red tops and things like that there's lots of different ways you can kind of tie in with the floral prints and colors of it which I really love and just thought it was a really comfort nice kind of soft stretch to it so it's super comfortable to wear I actually wore it to my friend's birthday the other night with a black roll neck and then tights and chunky boots and a little like black coat and beanie because we were like out and about but just thought it was a really nice way to kind of dress up an outfit and add a bit more colour. Now moving on to H&M I have three coats to share with you all which I'm so excited about. One of them not really sure on but let's begin with the one that I'm very very keen on. It's amazing fox like shearling kind of oversized blue and neutral and like a little bit of charcoal in there check coat I love the shape of this it's like that perfect super snug teddy coat and I actually got it in the pink and cream version as well which you'll see in a minute but I just loved the shape and fit of this I was like naturally oversized online and if you know me I love kind of having those oversized slouchy fit pieces that you can like layer and wrap up really snug with like your roll necks underneath and scarves and wearing like all the layers when it gets super cold in January time as well and I just feel like this is one of those coats that looks great for like everyday looks it's really easy to chuck on which was something that I was in need of a little bit for my autumn winter wardrobe but mainly just love the print of this and the fact that it's got some color in it like I said I'm really enjoying kind of working on just adding more color into my autumn winter wardrobe because I feel like sometimes I can go from like summer and spring and being really bright and wearing lots of like fun colors and things like that and then go straight into autumn winter and be like black and cream <laughs> so trying to get out of that habit because I feel like color really lifts my mood I don't know about any of you guys but really loved this and just styling for more of like an everyday look with jeans and chunky trainers here and then for the next coat I'm just not sure I thought I would try it on and share with you guys because this is a try on haul and I think I've really gone a bit wrong with the sizing here because online it doesn't I didn't well I personally didn't think it said oversized fit it might say that now that I'm linking it down below but I went for a size medium so I went a size up again so that I could style with lots of layered knits and scarves and things like that and it's just <laughs> it's just massive on me and I love this kind of like coat style of this being quite oversized I've seen so many girls do it so well and they just look so cool and to be honest I just don't know if I can pull it off let me know down below what your thoughts are I think side on is okay front on I feel like maybe it's too long on me and I'm not sure but the coat itself like feels amazing it's so premium fitting it's all like upcycled materials so it feels really gorgeous like super soft and snug but I just think it's not for me <laughs> but I would love to know what you guys think so do let me know down below but yeah maybe that one is 
a no from me, I think. <laughs> um, but yeah, the next coat I'm gonna share with you all is one that I'm loving and actually wearing a lot at the moment. It's the same as the blue one, but in the pink and neutral, like cream styled version. I actually styled this like four different ways over on my Like To Know it account, which basically has all my outfits on. So if you're ever like in need of looking for outfits of mine and things like that, and you don't know where to find them, they're all on my Like To Know it account, which I will leave a little link down below too. But I styled this four different ways over there. And this is just one of those ways I'd style for like everyday looks, perhaps doing like a day to then going into an evening look. Cause I love wearing these cream high knee boots to take into like date nights and things like that too. But just styling with a neutral jumper dress just to allow the coat to kind of stand out. But it's honestly so soft and snuggly. I wish you guys could feel it. It just feels like you're wearing a little bit of a duvet, which is quite nice on the colder days, especially for like morning beachy walks and things like that. I've just been wearing with a hoodie and chucking on some leggings and trainers and it's just super, super snug on. I'm actually gonna be wearing it tonight when I go to Tully's farm because I need to be super, super warm because it's gonna be cold tonight. So I'm wearing that with a beanie and a scarf as well, but I just feel like it's a really lovely styled oversized fit teddy coat, which is perfect for layering. But yeah, that is it for today's haul and video. I hope you guys enjoyed and and perhaps found some inspo for outfits in your own wardrobes or pieces that perhaps will work for you and that kind of thing. But if you have any questions, then leave them down below or send me a DM on Instagram and I'm happy to answer anything that I can. And I will see you guys all in the next video. I've got a new look haul coming, which is probably one of my favorite hauls I've ever done. Like the outfits in there, I'm so excited to share with you all. You might've seen a few on my Instagram, but I wanna like talk a little bit more detail about some of them for any of you guys that are interested. So that is coming very soon too. And then I've got my moving vlogs. I am so excited excited to show you guys a new place. I haven't even seen it yet, so it's going to be like a first time seeing a new place together, which is very exciting, but I will see you guys in the next video. If there's anything you guys want to see from me this month, then do let me know, and I'm sending you all so much love. Thank you for supporting me on here always, and yeah, I'll see you guys soon. Lots of love. Mwah. Bye.